Hi, didn't see you there. <laughs>
but honestly, I could barely see the name anymore. But I'm gonna find a palette that match my skin complexion or something like that. And then I'm gonna put the makeup on my scalp. I don't know which one I'm gonna use yet. Let's see this color. This is really light. I don't know, let's see. Stop calling my phone, leave me alone. A Morphe palette, Morphe X Jacqueline Hill. I really think that's what it says. But look, I can't see anymore. Like it's, it's rubbed off. It's looking like I just got out of jail. I didn't like looking like that. I didn't like feeling like that. So I'm like, I have to do my hair today. Cause that's not sexy. I had my hair like that for like a week. I already prepared my wig to put on. Since this is a reinstallation and not an installation, make sure that the hair is already going back so that when you're putting the wig down, it's not hair getting in the way. But I'm about to put the glue on my head. I already showed y'all I'm using boho glue. We're gonna get to it. When you put the glue, make sure you spread it out all the way. A little bit goes a long way. So the same thing in my last video. Make sure you're spreading it the fuck out. So I'm just putting some dots. Then I'm gonna really start spreading it. All right, now that it's clear, I'm gonna put a second coat on it. I'm not gonna use the blow dryer to, to, um, to dry the glue or anything like that. Cause the way how I'm spreading it, the glue dries pretty quickly. And that's good enough. Y'all don't put the wig on yet until the gl the glue is fully dried. You'll know when the glue is fully dried when it turns clear. When you can't see that. You see how when I first put it on it's white? As I'm putting it down and spreading it out, it's drying really quickly. I put two coats. But I think I'm going to put three. Because like, I need it to really stay down. I don't want the shit lifting up. All right, so it's drying real quickly. So now I'm about to get the wig set to put on for real, for real. With the glue drying um, really quickly, able to get the wig down, put it down, and then if you wanted to move it over a bit, you're able to lift it back up and shift it. That's another reason why it's really important for you to wait until the glue is absolutely dry. I'm gonna do it like that. Cute, I look so bald. I'm just gonna use a comb to like press it into my forehead. Focus on where you want the hairline to go and not where you want the lace to go. Because you can easily cut off any excess lace. But once you put this shit down, it's over. Yeah, this is my favorite wig. Like, I installed this wig so much because I just love it. Like, ask my Instagram. They see me in this wig a lot. Like, look at that. Look at that. I ain't even put it down yet. Like, I didn't really even put it all the way down yet. Did you see that? I already feel cute. I already feel cute. 
Right now, I'm just pressing the wig down to the glue. You see this, this excess lace right here? Don't worry about it because I'm going to cut it off. I'm not even gonna lie to y'all, this feels like the first time I got it installed. I was hyped. Cause it kind of looked exactly like how it does right now. And I'm, I'm not talking about like the, the install, I'm talking about like the texture. But we're not done yet, we're not done. I know I'm mad close to the camera. I'm sorry y'all, my bad. So I gotta cut the lace just a little bit. This is the hardest part for me, huh? Mm -hmm. Not you. Oh. This is the hardest part for me because, like, I can't. I'll be trying not to cut off the hairs that I need. Let's see. I'm gonna just go a little bit. I think that's fine. I'm gonna just leave it because if I cut any more hair, I'm gonna fuck up the whole wig and I don't want that to happen. That happened to me before. Mm. Right, I got it anyway. I just didn't use the scissors. That was even better. This part, I'm gonna add a little bit more glue because um, I'm not gonna cut that off. I'm really like sorry about being mad close but it's kind of stupid of me to use my camera as my mirror instead of a mirror but it's okay all right now it's time to melt the lace but before i do that i'm gonna cut off the um the excess lace that's going on around here because i'm not i'm not keeping it a mirror so i'm not gonna come that close to y'all for this part because i don't want to cut myself This is how it looks now that I cut the lace off, I mean the excess lace, but I'm going to try to find a substitute for alcohol right now because I don't know how I didn't remember that there's no alcohol. <laughs> I'm not going to clean the glue yet. I'm going to do this process first and then I'm going to clean the glue afterwards. It's just like, where is the lace? Where's the lace right here? All right, we're gonna do the rest. Hopefully it looks like this part. So can you see, well, it's not done yet, but can you see the difference between this side and this side? What I'm gonna do is put this on this part so that when I'm cleaning the glue, it doesn't get on the lace. I don't have alcohol, like I said, so I'm going to try to use witch hazel. This is the closest thing to alcohol. 
right? But yeah, I, I definitely went to the store today and I was trying to remember what I needed. I was trying to remember what I told myself to buy. My sister was cutting my ass, but it actually worked. So if y'all don't got no alcohol, just use witch hazel. All right, so the, the witch hazel didn't do the total job. Like, but it's, it's okay. It's okay. I'm gonna put this in the side part. <laughs> sheet for hair i still don't know the name but that's exactly what i said in my last video when i take it off you're gonna see the difference and if you don't see well you can't see the difference because you didn't see it before but go watch my other um hair video and you'll see get this okay it really helps when you do your edges like it makes your edges look laid Okay, I'm gonna leave it like that. This is my flat iron from my hair company. I didn't add the bundle even though now I feel like I should have, but I feel like it's fine. This is the finishing look. I wasn't sure about these. Edges, but I did them anyway because I could just brush them back if I want to. I'm gonna show y'all how straight the hair got. I'm gonna get a wrapper. Yeah, this is how it came out. this is how long it is it still touches my butt before it used to come like down there a little bit but now it's at the top of my butt since i cut it if you want me to make a video about how um i make my wigs last so long let me know i'll put y'all on because you know all my wigs got longevity all right if you made it this far in the video make sure you like comment and subscribe if you like my hair make sure you like comment and subscribe if you want to see more videos make sure you like comment and subscribe so make sure y'all subscribe to my channel because i'm a vibe i'm a vibe yeah yeah i'm a vibe yeah. Yeah, back. <laughs> all right no for real go subscribe to my channel and comment on comment and let me know if y'all want me to make the video about tips and hacks to make your wigs last because i could do that all right bye hey before you go hey i don't like that all right y'all bye thanks for watching my video i really do appreciate the support thank you if you made if you watched this video, I 